guys, this is Misaki and I'm here today to speak about two books of the Hot Jock series because I was in debt with you for book number three and book number four which are trying to score and crossing the line so let's talk a bit about both of them because they are so good <laughs> I can't rank like one better than the other because they both are really really good and when I say really really good is because they are really really good indeed and guys the first book that we are going to talk about which is number three will tell us the story of Teddy and Sarah they uh, studied together <laughs> in college so they were friends since college and we start the, the beginning of this book with Teddy discovering that someone hacked his account in the cloud and stole a video and we discover that it's a sex tape <laughs> that he kept there and the person now is like threatening to release this video like to everybody on the internet <laughs> at first that is going to freak out because he's not alone in this video we are going to discover that he recorded these videos with Sarah during their years in college and then we are going to discover that they were like for a period of time friends with benefits there but that didn't work out and they end up not telling anybody about it so nobody on their like gang they know that they two used to date uh, back in college but then they are going to be like desperate because not even their friends from college are going to discover this but like everybody in the, the whole world because internet you know how internet is right so they, they kind of freak out Teddy tells this to Sarah Sarah is like desperate because she's an attorney and she's like almost getting a partnership in the office that she works and this is going like to to mess up everything she she might lose this a partnership because of that and that's really not good for Teddy's career too so the PR from the team advises the, the two of them to like start fake dating because if the person that stole the video releases it it's going to be like less messy if they are indeed dating it's going to be like oh okay you post the video of uh, two, two people that they they do that like every day so it's not gonna be a big deal and Sarah agrees with that. Uh, even if she doesn't want to start fake dating Ted, she agrees that this is the best way to, to get out of this situation. But what they too don't know is that once they start fake dating, this, this fake is going to become a real thing because back there in college, they had their reasons to end up their uh, dating time. I started to date another guy that she dated during summer vacation and then Teddy like ended up quitting the idea of telling something to her and after that Teddy started to date too and then when Sarah wasn't dating Teddy was dating and then when Teddy was not dating she was like really focused on her career so they never had really a chance to make this work between them and now because of this story they had this chance and they are going to use that and guys it's going to be amazing because they were meant to be and i don't know how to say that but <laughs> this hacker might be a cupid because <laughs> it's because of him or her that both of them are going to be together and uh, this is pretty much what's going to be the book about they're going to start like this fake relationship and you're going to see how they interact how they're going to solve their differences and how they're going to realize that they are really a match and this is going to be amazing so please go read this book this is a really good book and we're going to have a really good time by reading that and now we're going to speak about book number four which is crossing the line and this one we're going to discover what happened for Asher and Bailey to end up together <laughs> so Asher is one of the guys that plays uh, with Justin, Owen, Teddy and he just had an injured and he's not like uh, really playing the games uh, he has to be uh, resting to, in order to recover and because of that he's going to make a visit to his family in California and spend like a week there while he's recovering 
But the team wants him to take someone like a nurse with him just in case he needs something and, and like to, to keep an eye on him so he doesn't do anything reckless <laughs> that compromises his recovery. So he is like telling that to the gang one day and say, oh, I don't want to take like a nurse that I don't know, someone that I don't know to my family's home. And I don't know what to do because I want to go, I want to visit them and uh, I don't know what do I do. And at that time, Bailey listens to that and she kind of volunteers to make this nurse job because she, she just graduated from med school and she's going to start a residence after summer vacation. So she's kind of free during this time that he's going to spend in California and Asher people he accepts that like without thinking because as you're going to know he had like a little crush on Bailey since, since ever since they met uh, on this game and we are also going to discover that Bailey had this crush too on him like they would not make a move on each other because uh, that would like spoil something on the game or but this trip people this trip is going to change everything because Bailey is going to know like all people from Asher's family, including her grandmother <laughs> and his grandma is going to do something that you're going to love so much when I tell you. <laughs> She's going to get Bailey's drunk in hopes that she is going to make a move or something with Asher and uh, she ended up being right about it because uh, that night when Bailey is drunk because of the grandma, something happened between them and after this this night and what happened during this night everything is going to change they're going to start thinking about what if like what if we date if we start dating what is going to happen when Bailey start the residency and Asher has gained how are we going to see each other so they start to consider a lot of stuff and these what ifs are pretty much what they are going to try to solve during the story because they realize they like each other they, they were attracted to each other before the trip and after that they know they are attracted to each other but is this going to be possible? Like, uh, is this relationship possible to be managed by the two of them with the careers that they had? So I think that's the major subject that we have during the book. And guys, this book is really amazing too. I really can't choose between these five books which one is the best. I know that my favorite character is Owen, for sure. He's my favorite character from all the five books. But I don't know which of the stories I like best because I like them all and <laughs> I really can't tell which one is my favorite. So please, if you have a chance, read this book number five too. And we also have a novella called Bedroom Experiment which I already read to and it's really, really good. So I recommend uh, both books and this novella. Go read this, you won't regret. And this is it, that's everything that I have for today. See you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.